गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वेर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एयर डिटेक्शन कोड एंड वी डिस्कस्ड द पेरिटी बिट एंड वी टॉक अबाउट टू काइंड ऑफ पेरिटी बिट वन वॉज द ऑट पेरिटी एंड द सेकेंड वन वॉज द इवन पेरिटी बिट ओके एंड बेस्ड ऑन दाइप ऑफ पेरिटी वी डिसाइडेड अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन जनरेट द पेरिटी बिट एंड दैट इज एडेड एट द एल एस बी ऑफ द मैसेज वट एवर वी हैव and then it is transmitted and the problem was this uh, problem with this uh, parity bit was uh, it can detect up to one bit of error even if the uh, like error is in two bits then it cannot detect okay so this was the problem but yes it can detect the error but it cannot correct even though it can detect a single bit error or odd number of bit bits uh, where the error like if there is a errors in odd number of bit then it can detect it but there is there was no provision to correct it in the parity bit kind of uh, codes okay so to avoid that the, these things or to overcome this problem we have another code that we call it the error detection and correction code okay and the well known error detection and correction code is the humming code uh, most of these codes you will uh, 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 you will again go through when you will uh, uh, take a course related to the data communication or the computer network kind of thing so that is why i am going through uh, this all codes quickly uh, so that you can understand how it is working actually okay so the humming code is one of the code that can uh, detect as well as correct the error okay and this is somewhat different than the parity bit it is not just like to add the parity bit at the lsb but we have to decide the uh, parity bits where we have to place in the uh, information okay so suppose i have any we have any information and we want to uh, add some parity bits in that case it's just not just like i have to add all the parity bit at the lsb side and that will be transmitted no we have to find the how many how many number of parity bit is required and what is the position of that parity bit so let us uh, quickly go through it then i will tell you uh, uh, how we can decide all those things okay so suppose uh, if i am talking about the data communication system in that case we have a two things one is the transmitter and the second one is the receiver okay suppose i have a information bit something like this okay suppose i want to transmit this information which is the data word a0 to a3 okay if i want to transmit this one so i need to generate the parity bit through the generator so that generator uh, will generate the parity bit based on the data word whatever we have and that is being added with the data word so here i am just showing uh, at the lsb only just to understand like uh, uh, it is not like we have only one parity bit there could be more than one parity parity bit if i am talking about the humming code okay and that can be added with the message but uh, this is not compulsory that uh, the parity bit will be added in the lsb the play, the position could be anything what is that position i will tell you so the important thing to understand here is suppose whatever the data word i have this is the information which i want to uh, i want to transfer i want to send so i need to generate some parity bit through the generator and that will be added with the message and that becomes the code word and the, that code word is being transmitted through unreliable system suppose i am using the unreliable system let us assume uh, wireless communication i am doing in that case there is a probability of data flipping or or data loss okay in that case i need to check whether we are getting the correct information at the receiver or not okay so suppose i am transmitting some information some code word like this one whatever i can say here a0 to a3 and the p0 to p3 where p0 to p3 are the parity bits Uh, which are generated based on the message whatever we have okay once it is transmitted let us assume i am receiving some some information like this okay that information in let us assume it is the uh, b0 to b3 to q0 to q2 okay uh, just for a representation it's not like it, it, there is a high chance that a0 
to A3 is same as the B0 to B3 and P0 to P, uh, P2 is same as the Q0 to Q2. So if these are uh, these both are same, it means uh, we got the exact message whatever it was transmitted. Okay, so this could be same or it could be different. If it is different, what it means there was there is some error. So I need to check it. So how it it works? So whatever the message, whatever the information or the the coded message uh, is transmitted, that will be passed through a checker. Okay. That checker will check whether there is an error in the bit or not. Okay, it can check uh, at b at which bit position we have the error. So important uh, thing about the humming code is it can detect the error, it can correct the error, and it can also detect at which bit position the error is, which of the bit is flipped. Okay, so this is also very important. Like this is also a property of humming code that it can decide at which position uh, or bit position uh, there is an error. Okay, and based on like once this checker will check uh, whatever the received message we have, that will generate some syndrome bit. And based on the value of this syndrome bit, that it is decided which of the bit position is lossy or which bit position is uh, like flipped okay so the syndrome bit uh, syndrome provides the location of the bit where the error is okay and based on that the correction logic is basically utilized to correct those errors okay so suppose let us assume i have a i sent let us assume something like this Okay, and at the receiver, I have uh, I have received like one zero zero one. So let us say uh, sorry, one 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 zero. So we can see here we have the error in this bit position. So syndrome bit will generate like uh, this is the bit position where the error is, and if this is error, so correction logic what it it will do? It will check what was uh, what the data is received because we have only two logic state uh, logic zero and logic one. So based on this syndrome bit, it will check. Uh, let us assume uh, the received signal is one here, and syndrome bit is saying that there is an error in this bit position. So what it will do? Correction logic will simply complement this particular bit only. Okay. So uh, after complementing, we will get the exact information, and then we have to remove the uh, parity bits whatever we have added during the transmission and then we can receive the data word the exact data word what was there okay so this is how it works so we will take some example then you will be able to understand how this humming code is working okay so this is really important so important thing to understand here is the uh, uh, other than a single parity bit we may need more than one parity bit okay then Second important point is, uh, it is not necessary that parity bit will be added at the LSB only. It can be anywhere and that position is decided by the, some formula. What is that formula? I will tell you. Third point is the humming bit can, uh, humming code can also detect the location where the error is. Okay. And the fourth one is the humming code can also correct that error if there is some error based on that syndrome. Look, uh, uh, syndrome code okay so suppose i have m bit information okay suppose i have m bit information so how many parity bits are needed i just told you uh, the uh, the parity bits depends on what is the uh, uh, data word what is the length of the information okay so if i have m bit information so this formula must be followed to calculate the number of parity bit Okay, so 2 to the power k must be greater than is equal to m plus k plus 1, where this m is the uh, number of bits in the information, in the masses, whatever we want to uh, transmit. And the k is the number of parity bit required to, for this particular message. Okay, and this condition must be satisfied. Okay. The minimum value of the k at which this condition is satisfying, that number is the number of parity bit required for to generate the humming code for that message. Okay, so here 
this is really very important. So k is the number of parity bit and m plus k is the length of transmitted message because I have a m bit information and I need k parity bit, okay, k parity bit to, to generate the humming code. So the total number of uh, transmitted message length will be m plus k. Okay, so this is really very important to, uh, to the power k must be greater than m plus k plus 1. Okay, now keeping these things in our mind, let us try to take some example and try to solve these questions, some, some, of, some of the questions. Okay, is there any doubt on the humming code? If you have any questions, then you can ask the question. Otherwise, we can go ahead with the um, problem solution, problem solving with the humming code, with the help of humming code. And I will discuss all these things, how we can generate it uh, at the transmitter side and how we can uh, check it, what is the correction logic, different, and how the syndrome bit is generated and how we can extract the actual, actual information. So I will tell you all these things. Okay. So let us consider some example. Okay. Suppose I have a problem which is like find humming code considering the odd parity for four bit message one one zero one here. Okay, so what is the uh, the, the the problem here? Like the message, if we talk about the message. message is equal to 1101 if the message is 1101 so in that case m is coming something like m is equal to 4 based on the previous formula and if we, we can recall the uh, formula which we discussed in the previous slide that formula was like uh, to calculate the parity bit it must follow this condition 2 to the power k must be greater than or is equal to m plus k plus 1. Can anyone tell me what should be the minimum value of k in this case to satisfy this condition? 3. It will be 3, yes. So let us try to check uh, what is the condition, what is the minimum value that is uh, uh, that, that is fulfilling these conditions. Let us assume k is equal to 0. You know, let us assume k is equal to, suppose, uh, uh, k is equal to 0, we cannot keep it because we need at least one uh, parity bit. So let us assume k is equal to 1. If k is equal to 1, what, what it means? It indicates that 2 to the power 1 uh, must be greater than is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 1. Okay. So this condition is not uh, true. This is not true, con uh, right condition. If we talk about 2 to the power 2, so 4 plus 2 plus 2, this is also not true. But if we talk about 2 to the power 3, is equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1. So in that case, we are getting 8 here and 2 to the power 3 is also 8 and which is uh, satisfying this condition. So the minimum number of parity bit that is required uh, for this message is 3. So after calculating all these things, the number of uh, parity bit required or the k is equal to 3. Okay, so we got the k is equal to 3. Now let us try to see. So, so the total uh, length of the message will be like, yeah, if we can write here. Is equal to m plus k and that is 7. So the length of message will be 7 and k is equal to 3, which is the number of parity bits. Okay. Now, let us just, I just told you the, the location of parity bit is really very important here. Okay. Where I need to put the, the number of parity, uh, the parity bits and that location is uh, really important. So the location of parity bit is given by two to the power n formula. This is important. Let us see how we decide this one. Okay. Two to the power n, like where I need to put these parity bits that is decided by 2 to the power n, where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So suppose if I have uh, k is equal to 3, okay, so I need to consider three cases, 0, 1, and 2. 
Okay, so these three cases I need to consider. Similarly, let us assume I have a number of parity bits are four. So I need to consider zero, one, two, and three. And after putting these values in this formula, we will get the exact location where I need to put. So suppose I am putting uh, in in this case uh, what we considered here k is equal to three. So if I am putting n is equal to zero, so I I will get one. And in the at at position one, I must have the parity bit. Second. If I am putting one, then at position two I must have the parity, and at position uh, four I must have the parity. So the location of parity bit must be at the bit number one, at bit number seven, and at bit number a uh, bit number two, and at bit number four in the uh, transmitted message, whatever we have. Okay, so this is the bit position. So let us try to come up with this one. So let us write the bit number and the other things so that we can. Understand here. So let us assume this is the bit number one, this is bit number two, this is bit number three, four, five, six, seven. Because uh, the the length of the message is seven, right? So this is how we can calculate the bit number. I just told you the parity bit location is decided by this formula to the power n, and the location will be one, two, and four. What it means? It means that. The at bit location uh, at the bit number one, I will have a first parity. So let me write it p zero. Okay, at location number uh, bit number two, I must have the second parity, which is the p one. And at bit number four, I must have the third parity, and that is the parity number two. So P zero, P one, and P two location will be decided by this one. Okay. Now we have four uh, bit numbers left. Then what I have to do? I have to simply place the number, place the message, whatever we have. So here I have the message one, one, zero, and one. So this is the code word which is generated based on the message, whatever we have, based on the location of parity and the message. But is still i don't know what is the value of this parity this 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 information or this code what cannot be transferred transmitted because uh, we must know the value of p0 p1 and p2 before transmitting so let us try to calculate what is this p0 p1 and p2 okay so uh, if we are able to get it then that will be uh, that that will be good to uh, transmit okay so <clears throat> Let us see. Suppose. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, please. Um, sir, beside uh, the parity being at the first position, uh, can't it be at any other odd position? No, because the uh, uh, this formula indicates what is the exact location of the parity bits and. Uh, all the parity bits must be must follow this regulation, like two to the power n, and I have to start from zero, one, two, three. So if I am keeping like n is equal to zero, so it will come one. So at bit number one, I must keep parity bit zero. Okay, uh, sir, you are saying like uh, I I should write p one here and p not here, something like that. No, no, sir. I am saying that uh, you said the location of parity bits is given by two raised to the power n. Yes. So, so uh, the parity would be uh, the parity can't be at the third position. No, 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 no. It cannot. It, it cannot be. Otherwise, uh, how you will detect where I, I have kept the parity bit? You should you should follow some uh, regulations where I have to put. Like just if you recall the, the previous uh, parity bit case where we discussed the uh, error detection code. In that case, uh, parity bits are always kept at the LSB side, right? So this was the regulation for that. Similarly, if I have to add more number of parities, and if I am not keeping all the parity bit to the LSB side, and I am mixing with the message, so uh, to avoid the like to correct it and to avoid the pro uh, other problems, so we must know where I have kept that parity bit. Otherwise, what will happen? Because parity bit is nothing but this will also come uh, th that will come around zero, one, zero, and something like that. One or zero, either it will be zero or it will be one, and that that can be considered as a message. So you must know the location. Okay, it's not like you can keep only at three or four. So you you should follow some regulations for that. 
It would be at an even position. We are assuming that. No, 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 not even here. If you see the parity bit is uh, has started from uh, one. Yes, definitely it will like the next parity bit uh, will be at the position eight, or uh, then uh, it will be at sixteen and so, so on. But yeah, we can say like it it is falling to the power n or uh, even. But no, not we cannot say uh, all the even. This the the parity bit will, will bit will not be at the position number six. Because next number that will come like if um, I will keep n is equal to three, so it will come eight. So the next parity bit will be at the eighth position, not the sixth. So you cannot say like uh, the parity bits are kept at the even uh, places. Sorry, so not even. I meant uh, the to, uh, uh, order of two to the power n, right? Yes. Yeah. So we are yeah. just assuming that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. True. Okay. Uh, doubt is clear. Yes, sir. So, uh, can this be a shortcoming for this that if uh, a parity is located at third position, then it can't? No, no. I will tell you how. I will tell you. Okay. Please wait. Uh, let me finish it. Then your doubt will be clear automatically, right? So, I think you don't need to ask the question once it will be completed. Okay. Please wait. And then, in case uh, doubt, you can ask the questions. Fine. So, as of now, we are able to uh, write the code word, but we don't know what is these parity bits. Okay, so let us try to find out these parity bits. So first, for p zero, if I have to calculate, yeah, uh, in this case as well, I have to either consider the odd parity or the even parity. So if you see the in in the example, the odd parity has been considered. Okay, if you see. The odd parity. Consider odd parity. Okay. So what odd parity says? What is the odd parity? How how we decide? If the number of ones are odd, then we need to keep zero, and a parity bit will be zero. Okay. This is the uh, odd parity which we studied uh, in the previous class. Okay, so let us try to calculate the what is the value of p zero. To calculate the value of p zero, I need to start from two to the power zero location. Okay, and I have to skip one bit. What does it mean? It means that I have to two to the power zero means uh, that will give you one. Okay, so I have to start from the bit number one, then I have to leave bit number two, then I need to consider bit number three, five, seven, nine, and so on. So I have to I have to start from one, and then I have to uh, I have to consider all the uh, alternate numbers, alternate bit positions. Okay, and based on those numbers, I need to calculate the parity bit. Okay, so what what numbers I need to consider here? I have to consider bit number zero, uh, bit number uh, one. I have to consider bit number three, bit number five, and bit number seven. Okay. And if I consider bit number seven, five, three, and one, if you see here, I have a number one, zero, one, and p naught. If p naught is there, I need to remove it. I have to consider all other bits. So one, zero, one. In that case, what will be the parity? Can anyone tell me? If I have to find a parity based on, uh, sir, the one, data, one parity will be one. Correct, because the number of ones are even here, so the parity bit will be one. So let me repeat it again. To calculate the p naught, I have to start from two to the power zero uh, bit number, and I have to alternatively consider uh, by. Uh, uh, bit number one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. Okay. If I'm considering like this, I have a number like seventh position, fifth position, third position, and the one first position. So th that that number is coming around one zero one p naught. If p naught is there, I need to remove it and rest other uh, 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 based on the masses. I need to consider. And if I'm considering like this, the, uh, and by considering the Odd parity, the parity bit is coming something like uh, one. Okay, so the p 
zero is like one. Similarly, if I have to calculate the p one, in that case I have to start from the two to the power one and skip two bits. Okay, so two to the power one means I have to start with two. So I need to consider two, three, and then I have to leave two bits, uh, two two locations. See here, I have to consider. I have to start from two, consider two, leave two, consider two, and leave two. So I have started from a bit location or bit number two. So I will consider two and three, and then I will leave four and five. Then six and seven will be considered. Then eight and nine will be left. Then and so on. So this is. How we can calculate the p one? So, can anyone tell me what will be the parity bit one p one? Zero one. One. Someone is saying one. Someone is saying zero. Let us try to check. So, I have to consider the bit two, three. So, uh, two, three, six, and seven. So, one, 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 p one. Okay. So, I will remove this p one. I need to consider this one, one, one only. And the number of ones are odd here. So the number of ones are odd. What it means, the parity bit will be zero. So the zero is correct, not the one. Okay. So I have to consider this location. So in that case, the the p one is coming around zero. Okay. Now, if you consider the parity bit number two, so I have to start from two to the power two, and I have to skip uh, uh, four bits. And 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 so on. I have to consider four bit and the uh, uh, I need to skip four bits. So that will start from uh, four, and that will consider four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven will be skipped, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen will be considered, and so on. Okay. So let us try to consider here. So I have a four, five, six, seven numbers. So the numbers are. One, one, zero, and P two. Okay, and if you see, what is the parity in this case? So one. It will be one. Yes, because the number of ones are even here. Okay, so the P two will be one. Okay, and yes, very important thing is how to generate this one. What will be the circuit to generate this one? This is nothing but this is the XOR gate. Okay, so we have to XOR these bit positions. One, three, five, and seven to generate the P zero. I have to XOR these logics, two, three, uh, this input, uh, uh, these bit numbers, two, three, six, seven, and then I will get the uh, P one and P two and so on. Okay, so this is simple, nothing. This is the XOR gate. How XOR gate works and how to gen, how to utilize that XOR gate to generate the parity bit. I will explain in more detail when I will talk about the digital logics. Okay. So now we got the P zero, P one, and P two value of all these things. We got okay. Now let us try to place these things in the code word. So final code word will look like. Okay, let us see how it will look like. Uh, that will be one, one, zero, and one. This is the actual message whatever we had. Now I have to use uh, the parity bit as well. So the P zero is one, P one is zero, and P two is one. So this is the actual message that will be transmitted. Okay, and this is how we can calculate the parity bit. Is there any doubt in any of the places? <clears throat> you can ask the questions. Any any doubt? Can P one? Yeah, yeah. The similarly, you can consider the even parity as well, right? So if you are considering the even parity, in that case, that will be opposite. This parity bit will become zero. This will become one, and this will become zero. And then you have to uh, change the uh, final code word accordingly. Okay. So simply sir, just can you, huh? So can you explain P one, sir? P one, yeah. Okay. So to calculate the P one, whatever what you have to do, you have to simply uh, start from two to the power one. Okay. You have to start from two to the power one. What it means? I have to start from two, and I have to consider uh, two bits, and then I have to skip two bits. So I will start from two. So two and three will be considered. Four and five, six will be skipped. Six and seven will be considered. Eight and nine will be skipped, and ten and eleven will be considered, and so on. 
Okay, so this is what the look uh, uh, bit positions I have to consider. So let us try to see two, three, six, seven bit. What is the value of two, three, six, seven? Excuse bit? me, sir. Yeah, please. Sir, we have to consider two bits at a time. Yes, yes. Two no two bit means which of the bit number I have to consider. Simply this formula indicates that I have to start from two to the power one. Means this is the bit number from where I have to start counting. So this is the bit number uh, that comes two. Okay, so in that case, two and three, I have to consider this one. Skip these two. Consider this one. Skip next two. Consider two bits. Skip and consider. This is the pattern to to generate the p one. So this is this kind of pattern I have to follow. Okay, so this indicates like which of the bits are considering. Uh, we are considering. Like I have, I will consider second bit, third bit. Sixth bit, seven bit, and so on, something like that. Okay. So after considering this kind of bit pattern, uh, I have to uh, find the odd parity based on the two, three, six, and seven. So uh, seven is one, six is one, three is one, and the two is the p two. So I will not use p two. So if you see here, uh, the seventh, sixth, and third bit positions are one, 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 and the number of ones are odd. And number of ones are odd, but it means the parity bit will be zero because we have considered the odd parity. That is why this parity is coming around zero. Doubt is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So <clears throat> this is how we can generate the odd parity. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, is there any doubt? So, this is how we can generate the humming board. So, this is what we have done at the transmitter side. During the transmitter, uh, 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 on the transmitter side, uh, this kind of process is adopted. Now, let us consider the second example. Like, suppose we already have the humming board, okay? And I have to check whether there is an error or not. And if there is error, which is the bit location where the error is, and how to solve that one, okay? So let us consider the another example. Okay, uh, suppose I have a, a seven-bit humming code. Let us assume the seven-bit seven-bit humming code is like uh, one one zero zero one one one, and uh, I want to uh, detect and correct the error if any by considering the odd parity. Okay, so three things we should know. Uh, I have to consider the odd parity. This is the message, and uh, uh, we have to correct the error if there is. Okay, see here, because the yeah, here m plus k is equal to seven. Okay, m plus k is equal to seven. So I need to consider the minimum value uh, that that will satisfy that condition. Okay, so we should know k. Uh, we should know what is the message bit and what is the k bit simply by using the same formula so we will get to know that m is coming around 4 and k is coming around 3 so that you can get based on that formula which is a 2 to the power k greater than is equal to m plus k plus 1 so uh, by checking this formula you can get like what is the m and what is the k okay once you are ready with the uh, m plus k you can say what is the bit position okay and what is the message bit okay? so let me write few things okay yes so uh, bit yeah if you talk about a bit number this is start from here one yeah, let me change the color that will be visible better visibility so bit number is one two three four five six and seven. So this is the bit number. If we talk about the uh, the data, what we kept here, that is nothing but this is the parity bit zero. We know that this is the parity bit one, and the parity bit two are kept at four. And rest all others are like um, uh, m zero, m one. Yeah, if I have the masses, so I can write anything. Uh, let us assume I am writing. A0, A1. Yeah, let me write M so that you will be able to understand that I am considering the masses. Okay. So M0, 
M1, M2, and M3. Okay. And if you see here, what data you have received? You have received 1100110. So this is the data which you have received. That is 1100111. Okay. Now I will put, I, I will uh, fill this table or like syndrome bit later on. Let us try to consider a few things. Okay. Suppose. I am considering the uh, the parity bit one. So suppose I have uh, the first parity, which is the P zero for P zero. If I have to consider for P zero, okay, I have to consider. I I know that in the previous slide we know for the P zero I need to consider bit number one, three, five, seven. I have to start from one and I need to consider the alternate bit number. And so on, I have to like one, three, five, seven, and so on. If I'm considering like this, what it means? Which of the bits will be considered here? Bit number one, like bit number one is nothing but this is the one. Bit number, uh, sorry, bit number one, that, that is one. Bit number three, oh, sorry, 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 I made a mistake. One, three, fifth, and seventh. I have to consider this one. Okay, so one, zero, one, and one. This will be considered to generate this one. If you see here, what is the uh, what 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 kind of the number is coming out? Like, uh, can anyone tell me what is the uh, like? If we do like this, what is the syndrome bit that we will get? Yeah, let me write one more thing so that you will be able to understand. What is the syndrome bit? Okay, you should know. Uh, syndrome bit is nothing but this is based on the uh, the bit location or the bit number that we decide. The syndrome bit for this one is the uh, like if the syndrome bit is zero zero zero. Okay, if the syndrome bit is zero zero zero, then no error. It means there is a no error. If syndrome bit is 0, 0, 1, it means the error it, uh, is at location 1. First bit number is, uh, uh, ha is having error. If it is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So whatever the syndrome bit is coming, Based on that, we can decide where the error is. Okay, so let us try to see and how, how to generate the syndrome bit. I will tell you. Suppose for the parity bit zero, I have to consider one zero one one. Okay, and if I am considering one zero, and after considering the parity uh, or parity bit, what is that syndrome bit? Can, uh, can you tell me what is the syndrome bit zero? S zero. Same like that, uh, same like the parity bit. If I will find the parity of this one, so what is the parity bit of this one? Zero. Zero. Because the number of ones are odd here. Okay, so the number of R, uh, ones are odd. So uh, I need to keep the syndrome bit is equal to zero. Okay, let me repeat it again, what I have done here. Syndrome bit is just just uh, whatever we have placed that is based on the bit location. Okay. Now to calculate this syndrome bit, I have to consider the same just like a parity bit, whatever we do. Parity bit and the syndrome bits are similar, but in the parity bit, uh, if the parity bit, uh, like to calculate the parity bit, if the, the bit position having like P0 or P1, there is no data, then we remove it. But here, because we have the data at P0, P1 and P2 as well. So we need to consider all. Okay, and this is the simple difference between the syndrome bit and the parity bit, which we discussed in the previous one. So for, to calculate the P0 by considering the P0, that bit will become the a syndrome bit. And I have to consider the bit location 1, 3, 5, and 7. So 1, 3, 5, and 7, that is coming around 1, 0, 1, 0. And if I try to calculate the parity bit or the syndrome bit based on this data, then S0 will come out something like 0. 
Okay. Now consider the second case. Like for P1. Okay. Or the for syndrome B1. Uh, you can say anything. In that case, I have to consider, I have to start from 2, 2, 3 will come, 2, 3, then 4, 5, I need to leave, then 6, 7, I need to consider, and so on. So this is the pattern which I have to follow for that. Okay. If I am following like this, so the 2, the, uh, the 2, 3, and 6, 7, so I have to start from the MSB, so it will be like 1, 1, uh, 1, and 1. This is coming. 1, 1, 1, 1 is coming. So what is the syndrome bit in this case? One. Syndrome bit is one. Perfect. Because the number of ones are even here. The syndrome bit will become one. Now let us talk about the P2. Okay. So for P2, I have to start from the four, five, six, seven, and so on. I have to alternately change. So I have to consider seven, six, five, four. So that will be one, one. 0 and 0. This is what I have to consider. So what is the syndrome bit in this case? One. One. Yes, because the number of ones are one uh, uh, even. So the syndrome bit will be one. So now the important thing comes here. I am getting the syndrome bit which is uh, something like S2 S1, S0, I am getting like 1, 1, 0. So this is what the syndrome bit I am getting. If the syndrome bit is something like this, what it indicates? It indicates that the error is at the sixth bit. Okay, The sixth bit is having some error. Okay, 1, 1, 0 here, if you see here, 1, 1, 0. So what about the data we have received here? this is not correct this is incorrect data which we have received so instead of this one i have to replace this one with zero okay so this is important like uh, uh, the syndrome bit indicates which location is having the uh, like uh, there is error in the location so that will be uh, sixth one okay and based on that you just simply uh, write the data word then what is the exact data word that is the um, one zero 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 one 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 so this is the correct data word after correcting so this is how we can replace the sixth bit so if this is the case then the actual message will be like this one so the actual message what is the actual message can you tell me Zero, zero, one. Actual message is what is the actual message? Uh, one double zero one. One double zero one. Perfect. Because I have to consider uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So if you see here, uh, the seventh bit is one. Sixth bit is initially it was transmitted like uh, we received one, but uh, the actual is zero. So it will be zero. Then I have to consider this fifth bit that will be zero. And then I have to consider the third bit that is one. So the actual message is this one. Okay. So this is how we can correct the error in humming code. So do you have any doubt on this? If you have any doubt, you can ask the questions. Excuse me, sir. Yes. So can there be error only at one bit? No, error error can be in more than. Let's like, see the uh, the the property of humming code is it can detect up to two bit error, and but it can correct only one bit. Okay, so this is the property. So error error there is a possible possibility like uh, there may be the error in more than one. So so the the property of humming code is that it can detect up to two bit and but it can correct only one bit okay so that implies error will always occur only in one bit and bit. no um, error error uh, like see the syndrome bit is to uh, check 
the like where we have to replace it but it can detect uh, we can detect the two bits as well two bit error as well see possible how can we detect two bit error so uh, we need to utilize some uh, mechanism parity bit kind of mechanism because see here the the whatever the parity bit was there suppose i have some error on this uh, uh, let us assume bit number 6 and bit number 7 uh, or bit number 5 so uh, the parity bit like p0 p1 and p2 so because any particular bit see here uh, yeah this is a really good question so let me uh, answer that one if you see here if there is an error on bit number 3 okay so if there is an error on bit number 3 so this that will affect p0 and that will affect p1 okay if the error is on bit number 5 so that will affect p0 and that will affect p2 <laughs> okay so this is how because the same bit position like if i have a, uh, uh, the two parity bit bits are uh, changing please unmute yourself who is that so this is because the same number is involved in the uh, two different parity bits so accordingly that that can detect two bits okay so more detail about this uh, uh, parity bit and other things you will you will uh, consider in the data communication course so i'm not putting that much efforts on this okay but I, for you like for the gate uh, to prepare the gate examination this is uh, the sufficient information okay so can you please repeat uh, the syndrome bit can you please explain it once again syndrome bit okay uh, syndrome bit is basically see uh, uh, syndrome bit is nothing it is just like a parity bit what we did in the previous one okay so to to calculate the syndrome bit i have to consider like for uh, syndrome bit depends on how many bits we have how many uh, the number of bits we have and accordingly accordingly that will come out something let us assume i have a total number of bit like 9 okay so uh, for this nine number of bits how many syndrome bits are needed we need four syndrome bits okay and that syndrome bit will be like s2 s1 s0 and 1 s3 will also come because if i have a three bit syndrome bit i can accommodate uh, uh up to uh, seven only right eight and nine cannot be accommodated so to accommodate eight and nine i need to consider one more syndrome bit and this is what uh, the syndrome bit is now the question is uh, how to uh, calculate that that syndrome bit syndrome bit is nothing this is just like a parity bit because the parity bit uh, for the to calculate the p0 i have to start from the one and i have to alternatively consider the bits 1 3 5 7 9 and so on okay so at bit number 1 bit position number 1 what is the data i have the data 1 okay at bit number 3 i have the data 1 at bit number 5 i have the data 0 and bit number 7 i have the data 1 so 1 0 1 1 and i have to find the parity based on that because i have to consider the odd parity which is given in the exam uh, example uh, in the question so i have to consider the odd parity and based on that i have to consider the parity bit and that parity becomes a syndrome just like that one okay so the syndrome bit will be uh, because the number of ones are odd here so the syndrome bit will be zero and similarly for the s1 s2 and uh, merge this s2 s1 and s3 Uh, sorry uh, uh, s0 s1 and s2 and uh, try to find out the bit position so if s2 s1 and s0 is coming like 110 what it means it indicate the sixth bit okay and the error is in the sixth bit so this is the sixth bit and here is the error initially we receive the data 1 so that will be changed to 0 because we have only two uh, 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 symbols in the binary number systems okay so that will be flipped You, you, your answer is clear. Uh, doubt is clear. Doubt is clear or not? Clear. Okay, fine. Sir, number of bits of syndrome is uh, equal to the uh, bit number that we are considering. Like, if we are considering eight, then we should use four syndrome bits. Yes, syndrome. yes, yes, yes. Four syndrome. So, uh, the, like, the number of syndrome bits will be same as the number of parity bits required. 
ओके ओके सर